Come back. Today I will say some example of Silas theorem. Which had come in CS and NET exam. In my previous video I have discussed some question which had come in CS and NET exam about Silas theorem. Today I will discuss some more example because Silas theorem is very important for higher study. Let's see our first question. First question which had come CS and NET June 2023 exam. The question is if G is a group of order 244, then G contains a unique subgroup of order 27. Option 2, if G is a group of order 1069.4, then G contains a unique subgroup of order 121. Third, there exists a group of order 154 which contains a unique subgroup of order 7 option 4 there exists a group of order 121 which contains two subgroup of order 11 subgroup of order 27 means always it divide the order of the group and 27 means 3 q there exists a subgroup of order 27 means obviously there exists a subgroup of order 3, 3 square and order 1. That means obviously if there exists subgroup of order 3 cube that means there exists subgroup of order 3 and 3 divide 2244 but 3 does not divide 244 so there cannot exist does not exist subgroup of order 3 also of since 3 does not divide 244 that means is there does not exist any subgroup of order 3 that means there does not exist any subgroup of order 27 so option 1 is a wrong option notice the option 1 option 1 is a wrong option and option to indicate if g is a group of order 1694 then that imply G contains a unique subgroup of order 121. For this, here order of the group is 1694 and this is equal to 11 square times 7 into 2. And G contains unique subgroup of order 121 means obviously order of 11 SSC SSC whose order is 11 square here there exists unique subgroup of order 121 that means we have to find the number of 11 subgroup and we all of us know number of 11 subgroup is 1 plus 11 k and 1 plus 11 k always divide by 7 into 2 that means 1 plus 11k equal to, sorry here 1, 1 plus 11k equal to 1 that imply 1 plus 11k equal to 7 and 1 plus 11k equal to 2. This possibility, this in 3 possibility can be possible. 1 plus 11k equal to 1 that means obviously k equal to 0. 1 plus 11 k equal to 7 that means that imply k equal to 6 over 11. 1 plus 11 k equal to 2 that imply k equal to 1 over 11. This is fraction number this cannot possible. That means k equal to 0 only possible. 
and when k equal to 0 that means n 11 equal to 1. So that imply when the group of order 1694 then that imply there exists unique subgroup of order 121. I hope my all viewers have understood this. That means and 2 is a right option and option 3 indicate there exists a group of order 154 which contain unique subgroup of order 7. Similar to option 2 for this one important thing noticeable here there exists here the question, there exists a group of order 154 which contains unique subgroup of order 7. If the group is isomorphic to Z154, then we all of us know for cyclic group, all divisor is a subgroup and all divisor, not only subgroup, all divisor is normal subgroup. That means always contains unique subgroup. Since 7 divide 154. So, if the group is isomorphic to Z154, then always there exists one unique subgroup of order 7. So, this is true for this option there exists a group of order 154 which contain a unique subgroup of order 7. This is right option. And option 4 indicate there exists a group of order 121 which contains two subgroup of order 11. For this the group of order 121 and 121 means obviously 11 square which is look like P square type group where P is prime and we all of us know a group of order 121 is either isomorphic to Z121 which is cyclic or it is isomorphic to Z11 cross 11 which is abelian but not cyclic and for this group we can construct two subgroup of 11 order this is 0 times Z11 zero, uh, and other Z11 direct product single turn set 0. Obviously, these two types of group of or, order 11. So, if we consider this type of group, then we can construct two subgroup of order 11. So, obviously, option 4 is a right option. There exists a group of order 121 who is content to group to subgroup of order 11 this is right option now notice the cyclic subgroup generated by 1 1 obviously this is content the elements which look like 1 1 2 2 3 3 10 10 0 0 and this order is also 11 and this is the subgroup of z 11 cross z 11 this is also subgroup and this is the cyclic subgroup of order 11 and this this is also subgroup that means here the question there exists a group of order 121 who is contains two subgroup of order 11 this is right because here the question about not exactly two subgroup it can be more subgroup also but it contains at least two subgroup of order 11 so this option is for this this option is right option and we all of us know any group of order zm cross zn the number of subgroup is the theorem is and we all of us know the theorem number of elements of order p in the group zm cross zn is Number of elements of order P in ZM cross Z divided by 5P. And for this, number of elements of order 11 in the group Z11 cross Z11 is either 1 or 
द ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्डर इलेवन और द ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्डर वन ट्वेंटी वन दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल वन ट्वेंटी वन कैन नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज इफ देर एक्सिस्ट ए वन एलिमेंट ऑफ ऑर्डर वन ट्वेंटी वन देन द ग्रुप इज साइक्लिक बट हियर द ग्रुप इज नॉट साइक्लिक दैट मीन्स देर एक्सिस्ट ऑनली टू एलिमेंट ऑफ ऑर्डर वन एंड ऑर्डर इलेवन and number of elements of order 11 in z 11 cross 11 11 is without one there exist actually 120 elements of order 11 and divided by 5 11 means 10 that means there exist actually 12 subgroup of order z 11 in the group z 11 cross z 11 I hope my all viewers have understood. This is type of example. How many subgroup exist in the group? Look like Z M cross Z N. This is I have discussed in my previous video. Today actually the review part. So I have discussed again this part just as a review. I hope my all viewers have understood. Okay. Oh, I will see some simple example. of silos theorem just as a short question type the number of silo silo five sub group in the symmetric group s5 here the question number of five sub group five silo sub group in the symmetric group s5 of degree 5 is here silo five sub group in the symmetric group s5 since s5 that means order of s5 is 5 factorial which is equal to 120 and 120 means obviously 5 into 24 and obviously this 5 this is this is the 5 ssc whose order is Whose order is five? Uh, only five. Consider this subgroup A is A, and we have to find find number of silo five subgroup. That means we have to find n five. This is obviously one plus five k, and one plus five k divide twenty four. Here we have to find the number of five subgroup, and We all of us know in S five, the number of five subgroup is this type number of elements. Of order five divided by five five, and number of elements of order five in S five is S five. There exist only one cycle of order five. This is five cycle. So number of elements of order five is, and this is equal to five factorial over five to the power one into one factorial divided by five. Five means obviously four. This is equal to five times four times three times two times one. Over five and here four. That means just omit the, this part. Then this value is actually six. That means there exist actually six subgroup of order five in silo five subgroup. That means there exist actually six subgroup of order five. Okay. I hope my all viewers have understood how many. Silo five S S Z in the symmetric group S five of degree five. Okay. Also, we can solve this by Silo's theorem. This is another way. Okay. Oh well. Next question. This is also very important question. Here, G B the group of order. S four cross S three. Then, option one, two silo group of G is normal. 
Option 2, 3 silo group of G is normal. Option 3, G has a non-trivial normal subgroup and option 4, G has a normal subgroup of order 72. Here the group is look like S4 cross S3 and S4 cross S3 means obviously 1 cross 2 cross 3 cross 4 times 1 cross 2 cross 3 which is actually 2 to the power 4 times 3 square. Therefore, number of 2, uh, order of 2 SSG denoted as S is whose order is 16 and number of 3 as SSG whose order is denoted as K whose order is 9. Here the question number of 2 sided subgroup of the group G is normal. 2 sided subgroup normal means obviously there exist unique subgroup of order 16 but we all of us know S4 there exists subgroup of D4 times D, uh, D4 types also in S3 two order subgroup is look like identity comma 1 2 we all of us know in S4 there exist three subgroup of D4 types therefore there exist unique subgroup of this type this is not so you, since unique subgroup not possible, so two silo subgroup is normal. This is wrong option. Second, three silo subgroup of G is normal. Is it true? For this, the order of three subgroup in S4 cross S3 is 9. And we all of us know in S3 there exists unique subgroup of order 3 such type 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2. But in S4, there exist four subgroup of order 3 because uh, in S4, number of uh, the subgroup is number of elements of order 3 in S4 divided by phi 4 and in S4, Order 3 type subgroup is 3 plus 1. This is 8 over 5, 4. That means 8 over 4 times 1 over 1 minus half. This is 4 times half. This value would be 4. That means in S4, there exist 4 subgroup of order 3. That means here we can construct 4 subgroup of order 3. So, there exists only one three silo subgroup of order 9 in S4 cross S3. This is wrong. So option 2 also wrong option. And option 3 indicate G has non-trivial normal subgroup. This is also interesting option. We all of us know when index of the group is Two, then this subgroup is normal. S4 cross S3 considered this subgroup is S. This subgroup means only this part. And this uh, constant one in new subgroup S4 cross S. S. Obviously, index of this subgroup in S4 cross S3 is 2. So, since 2, that means, obviously, this is the non-trivial subgroup of the subgroup of the group S4 cross S3, which is normal. So, G has a non-trivial normal subgroup. This is a right option. Option 4 indicate G has a normal subgroup of order 72. This is also right option. Notice that the order is. 24 times 3, obviously this is 72. That means this subgroup of order 72, which is normal in S4 cross S3. 
so option 4 also right option i hope my all viewers have understood this question this question is very easy but very conceptual today i will stop here in my next video i will discuss this type of question briefly okay see you soon stay safe and stay positive always and don't forget to do subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much